Dante spent two-thirds of his savings on a used car. He spent one-fourth of the remaining savings to buy a new cell phone. If the cell phone cost $250, how much was original savings? So we'll solve this problem two ways. We'll first solve it geometrically, representing the total amount of savings as the length of the segment, and then we'll solve it algebraically. So starting with the geometric approach, if Dante spent two-thirds of his savings on a used car, let's begin by cutting or partitioning this length into thirds. So we would cut or partition the segment here and let's say here. And because he spent two-thirds of the savings on the used car, we could say that this length here represents the amount spent on the used car. Next, he spends one-fourth of the remaining savings to buy a new cell phone, which costs $250. So this length represents the remaining savings, and because he spends one-fourth of the remaining savings on the cell phone, we'll now cut our partition, this segment here, into fourths. So we could cut our partition in half, and then half again. And again, because he spends one-fourth of the remaining savings on the phone, which costs $250, we can represent this length here as the amount spent on the phone, which we know is $250. So if we can cut or partition the entire segment into pieces of this length, we can then determine the amount of the original savings. Well, notice how this length here represents one-third of the original savings, and the amount spent on the car is two-thirds original savings. So if we cut our partition each third into fourths, we can determine how many partitions we have of this length here. So we'll cut our partition this third into fourths by cutting it in half and half again, and the same thing for this third. Cut our partition in half and then half again. And now let's count the number of partitions of this length, which represents $250. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve which means the original savings would have to be 250 times 12. 250 times 12 is equal to 3,000, which means the original savings was $3,000. Now let's solve this again using an algebraic approach. We begin by defining the variable, which represents the unknown, and notice how the unknown is the original savings amount, so we'll let x equal the original savings amount. And now we'll set up an equation to solve for x. So let's review the given information again. Dante spends two-thirds of his savings on a used car, which means the remaining savings would be one-third of the original savings. And he spends one-fourth of this remaining savings to buy the cell phone, which cost $250 which means one-fourth of one-third of the original savings amount would be equal to $250. Let's write that down. We know that one-fourth of the remaining savings amount, which is one-third of x, based upon how we defined x, is $250. So from this sentence, we can set up an equation and then solve for x. We would have one-fourth of means multiplication, so times one-third of x, so times x, is means equals, and then we have 250. So simplifying the left side, we have one-twelfth x equals 250. So to solve for x here, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 1 12th, which would be 12 over 1 or just 12. Remember, the product of reciprocals is always 1. So we multiply the left side by 12. If we want 12 over 1, we must also do the same to the right. So we'll multiply by 12 here, since we don't have a fraction. So multiplying here, we just get 1x or x. And we already know that 250 times 12 is 3,000. So whether we solve it geometrically or algebraically, we determine the original savings amount was $3,000. I hope you found this helpful.